Hello YouTube and welcome to another People of the Elder Scrolls video. This time a video about High Chancellor Orkato. So without much rambling, let's get right into the video. Kato of Firsthold was an Altmer politician within the Septim Empire and played a key role in the events of the late Third Era and the beginning Fourth Era. But let's begin at the beginning. Okato was born in a family of nobles in the city of Firsthold. There he had an education in magic which led to him becoming a very powerful battle mage. Later in his life, somewhere between before the year 389 of the Third Era, he became a representative in the Elder Council, presumably for the Somerset Isles or First Hold, or maybe because he just had a powerful family that actually had something to say within the Empire. In the Elder Council he became a close confidant and supporter of Uriel Septim VII. They became such good friends that when Jaegar Tharn, the foul personal battle mage of Uriel Septim VII, was defeated, Oketo was actually appointed as the new Imperial Battle Mage. He would fulfill this function simultaneously with being a member of the other council and became the closest confidant and advisor of the Emperor. Within the other council he always proved to be loyal to the Septim line and to the Septim Empire as a whole. This ultimately led to him being voted into becoming the Chancellor of the other council, which is basically the chairman of the other council. He was then, next to him, Emperor Uriel, the most powerful person in the Empire. He and Uriel were a perfect team as Emperor and Chancellor, often plotted plan grand plans together, like sending the Blade Agent to Daggerfall resulting in a miracle of peace, and sending the Nerevarine to Morrowind to fulfill the prophecy and defeat Dagothar. When the Emperor Uriel was assassinated, the Elder Council made Oketo the Lord High Chancellor of the Elder Council which made him the de facto ruler of the empire until the oblivion crisis was dealt with and a new emperor could be found. In this position he made great efforts to hold the empire together in the impossible situation that was the oblivion crisis. Many of Sir Rodil's nobles actually applaud him for his actions in that time. When Martin Septon presented the claim to the throne, Oketo called together the entire elder council and with their approval they recognized Martin as emperor. He helped Martin with his, skills, with his skills as battle mage to find a way to the Temple of the One in the Imperial City that was under siege by Oblivion. And when Martin had sacrificed himself, Oketo found himself at a loss. The Empire was left without an Emperor, which meant troubled times ahead. And in the following months, Oketo tried his best to find a new Emperor. However, none of the Emperors he presented was accepted by the Elder Council. The Council then demanded that Oketo was to become potentate, because he was by far the best candidate. Oketo did not want the title, but after exhausting all other options, he reluctantly accepted the title and became official ruler of the Empire. And this was the best choice he could have made, as in the following five years he was well on their way in healing the Empire. But then the Red Year came, and the explosion of the, of the Red Mountain threw the Empire once again in disarray. But with great effort, Oketo managed to, get, to keep together the Empire for the remaining five years of his potentate reign. He died in the year 10 of the 4th era. The Empire then had a power vacuum and was completely thrown into chaos. This period became known as the Stormcrown Interregnum. For a detailed video on that period, watch my video on the Mead Dynasty I did with Avarti. It's in the description. But Oketo had an interesting final chore to his reign. During the end of his reign, the Thalmor actually gained influence in the Somerset Isles and Oketo was their largest enemy. This was due to him being from the Somerset Isles, having an old Mary her heritage and as ruler of the Empire being in a perfect position to work against them. He was one of the few that actually took the warnings of Lethenthil of Sunhold seriously. He was the writer of Rising Threat, who actually claimed that every bad thing that happened was due to the Thalmor. And Oketo actually sat down with him to listen to the warnings he had to say. Oketo saw danger ahead when he heard that anti-imperial sentiments were once again rising in the Somerset Isles. And that ultimately cost him his life. He took Lethenthil of Sunhul very seriously and he tried to combat the Thalmor. However, this resulted in the Thalmor assassinating him in the year 10 of the 4th era. Thus starting the Stormcrown Interregnum. And that was it, all we know about Chancellor Oketo. 
If you liked the video, give it a like, subscribe to my channel for more lore videos. If you want personal contact with me, my Instagram and Discord are in the comments, no, in the description. And also in the description is my Patreon if you want me to support me in a more personal way. If you support my Patreon, you'll get your name at the end of every video. And a special role on my Discord and some minor things, but it's really just donating. With that said, I will see you all in the next video. Probably sooner than you will expect. But I'm not sure yet, because I'm lazy. Bye.